Everybody, thanks for tuning in to NPN. I'm Patrick. I'm here with Sean Rucker from Sport Bike Chic. Thanks for watching Chic Ships. Uh, today we are talking long rides, which I think you and I both know a thing or two about. Mm -hmm. um, man, preparing for a long ride. Uh, what's your advice to people for these longer, cooler, massive rides? It really depends on where you're going. So a lot of times I try to plan in advance as much as possible, as much as I know. And sometimes you're winging it, but um, Typically, there are a lot of advantages to preparing in advance, right? So if you know you're going to need hotels, you can plan for hotel stops in advance. You may be able to find some good rates with those hotels. Um, I always make sure that I have certain things like Cardo for communication because communication is essential. So uh, that pairs with my phone, so that means you got to have a power pack. So I always keep a power pack on me if you needed um, electric, um, a little jump, a little jump pack or something like that. So there are certain things that I always ride with and I always carry with me, but they're particularly useful for a longer ride, right? So you never know what happens, but you want to be prepared as often as possible. So coming up here, I had, um, I was prepared. I was really prepared. So prepared that I had my rain gear in my backpack while it was raining, right? <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't really feel like that was the best move, but at the same time, it took more time on an already tight schedule to actually um, to pull over, go to the gas station, go dry off, get yourself um, switched out with the, um, with the appropriate gear. Now you got stuff that's kind of wet in your bag, but at the same time, that's part of it, right? And then get back on. Now, had I been prepared properly, <laughs> then I could have just put my rain gear on when I knew it was gonna start raining or I suspected it was gonna start raining and then I could have kept going right road through it. So every time that you're actually preparing in advance, you're able to save some time, sometimes some costs and a little bit of effort and, and convenience too. And you had even mentioned before about like, uh, if you blow out a tire, you have some sort of maintenance concern, mm -hmm. just a matter of having like, like a toolkit on you or something like that Absolutely. or no one, no one no, knowing where to find those sort of resources if you need them, yeah. Talk a little bit about that, like kind of kind of what a person should probably like, just on a say like a day ride versus a versus a long ride, like a like a three day ride. So on a day ride, I mean it's it's nice to be able to have again. I always recommend Cardo or some kind of communication device, whether you're riding a short distance or a longer distance, and also a battery pack for your phone because you don't know what's going to happen or you know how quickly if you're using maps or certain apps whether it's going to drain your battery. And you always want to be able to have some type of communication, um, whether you, whether you set your phone to do not disturb or not. It's a different story, but at the same time, it's there. Um, and then. Also for a longer ride, I'd always kind of, don't, don't, don't judge me, but I always try to pack like some flip flops and something loose, some lounge attire, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> something mm -hmm. that's loose to kind of let your skin breathe um, and just really be able to kind of relax. And um, again, try to keep the rain gear at least in the saddlebags or at least in, uh, accessible just in case, because you never know, especially in North Carolina, the weather may change. Mm -hmm just like that and next thing you know it's a little bit of downpour and there are certain things we just you know try to avoid doing on longer distance or just period like stopping on the side of the road or under a bridge just for safety concerns because people may have limited visibility or they may be distracted while they're driving so um, if you're going to be doing that again there are always things that I do like pull off but otherwise again whatever you're going to need for a longer distance you know pr try to pack for it but if you don't I mean, there are always stores along the way. So if you forget it, you know, whether it's your makeup bag or your lip gloss or, you know, extra pair of socks or something like that, that's always helpful. Um, I try to keep wool socks on um, just because they're cooler. And again, um, I think just prepare for the ride, right? So if you need to kind of have a, a lighter layer, be okay with a lighter layer and have enough space for a lighter layer for, you know, layering up or layering down or something like that. And even your bike, uh, if you're gonna prep your bike. Um, yeah, yeah oh, talk a little bit about bike prep. Absolutely, yeah. so I mean, I make sure that I do the, key, the T clocks, make sure that things are inspected properly. Um, if I have lights, lights have to be working. <laughs> That's essential. And then obviously, I think the biggest thing that may take the, the biggest piece is making sure the tires are okay, right? So if the tires are not, then obviously you gotta get new ones and then you gotta break those in. It doesn't take terribly terrible amount of time, but it definitely impacts your ride. There have been a couple of times when I found myself on a longer distance ride and next thing you know, I looked down like, oh snap, my tire is getting pretty worn. And then you have to take time out of your trip to actually go and get that repaired because you know now that's, that's a factor. And then brakes, 
right? Making sure your brake pads are okay and you have enough and they're not worn, your rotors are not worn or anything else like that. So there are certain things you really wanna make sure that, um, that, are taking, that are taking place in normal maintenance and regular maintenance. And then again, have those considerations for the longer distances too. There you go, I think you covered it all right there. <laughs> Sean, I appreciate you coming out. Everyone, thanks for watching uh, Chic Shifts. Uh, continue to watch uh, more MPN content. We got it all on the socials. Check us out and thanks for watching.